Jaguars are fierce and dangerous, carnivorous predators. They are as strong and dangerous as lions or tigers and can easily kill other large animals. So when a dog unwittingly made its way into a jaguar enclosure, everyone was worried that the poor animal would become the predator's next meal. But no one expected what happened next. Jack was a small and friendly dog that lived with his owner, Simon, on a wildlife reserve in Africa. He loved to go for walks, play games, and sit in the warm sun, just soaking up the rays and napping surrounded by nature. The wildlife reserve was generally quiet, and there was a wide open space around the house where the dog could run and play. It was very rare that any of the wild animals would make their way anywhere near the house, so Simon was happy to let Jack roam free. There was one time when Jack encountered an elephant. The large animal came lumbering out of the trees and took Jack by surprise. The little dog yelped in shock and ran as fast as he could back to the safety of Simon and the house. But as soon as he realized the elephant was no danger to him, he wanted to go back out and play with it. Simon, on the other hand, was not so keen on letting Jack play with such a large animal. Elephants can weigh many tons, and if that giant accidentally stepped on the small dog, it would spell disaster. But that was just an example of how sociable and fearless Jack was. He loved to meet other animals, play with them, and make new friends. Simon often felt bad because while there were plenty of animals out there in the wildlife reserve, there weren't many other dogs for Jack to run and play with. He did his best to try and keep his dog entertained and happy, but every now and again, he would feel a pang of guilt and even sadness that Jack had no proper animal friends. One day, Simon received phone calls from several other rangers that worked at the wildlife reserve, telling him to be vigilant because a jaguar had been spotted nearby. Now, Simon was never afraid of animals being near his property. After all, that's why he had become a ranger. But having a vicious and extremely dangerous carnivorous predator stalking in the trees not too far from his home sent shivers down his spine. It wasn't unheard of for these animals to attack pets and even people that strayed too close. Luckily, no one had been killed or injured by jaguars on the wildlife reserve yet, but still, he didn't want to test his luck. So just to be safe, Simon kept Jack inside for several days. The little dog was obviously frustrated and wanted to be out in the open air, but Simon didn't want to tempt the jaguar to come any closer. The only time Jack was allowed outside was when Simon was with him, and even then, he was on a very short leash. One morning, Simon awoke at his usual time and sat up in bed, yawning. He rubbed the sleep out of his eyes and stood up, heading to the kitchen to make coffee and find something to eat for breakfast. But there was something wrong, something was missing. He couldn't quite put his finger on it, and it wasn't until he was pouring his coffee that he realized Jack wasn't in his bed. The dog was usually up and awake at the same time as him, but he always stayed in his bed for a little while while Simon made his breakfast. But there was no sign of Jack. Simon reached down to feel the bed and noticed it was cold. Clearly, the dog had not laid there in quite some time. He shouted Jack's name. The dog would usually come scampering into the room, but there was nothing, not a sight nor sound of the little dog. Simon grew concerned and ran from room to room, looking for his beloved dog. But Jack couldn't be found anywhere. What he did discover, though, was that the bathroom door was slightly ajar, as was the window. There was more than enough room for the dog to get through and outside. Simon's eyes went wide with realization, and he ran to his front room to look out of the window. There, he saw something that made his heart skip a beat and his blood run cold. Jack was on the floor, and a giant jaguar was pouncing on him and seemingly tormenting the poor little pet. The dog was yelping on the floor, his little legs flailing as the jaguar would pounce, then run a short way away before turning around and doing it again, over and over. Simon had heard stories of how jaguars would torment and play with their prey before killing them. It was a sadistic way to kill defenseless animals, but it's just the way jaguars and other big cats, such as lions and tigers, did things. It was nature. But that still didn't change the fact that Simon needed to save his poor dog. He would hate to see his beloved pet die this way. The jaguar's razor-like claws and sharp, pointy teeth could easily finish off Jack. Simon grabbed his gun, 
ready to shoot the jaguar to stop the attack when something made him stop in his tracks, something that he did not expect to see. Jack's tail was wagging as if he was enjoying himself, and strangely, the little dog looked uninjured. In fact, he seemed as if he were having the time of his life. Simon slowly laid down his gun and continued watching through the window, suddenly interested in what was going on. The jaguar was pouncing onto Jack, but not aggressively. There were no claws involved, nor was it baring its teeth. It was simply tapping at the dog before running away. Suddenly, Jack leaped up and ran at the jaguar, who flopped down onto its back and rolled around as the dog climbed on it and playfully fought with it. They were actually playing. It was a game. Simon was so shocked that he let out a little laugh. The sight of a small dog like Jack wrestling playfully with a huge jaguar was staggering. After an hour, the jaguars seemed to have grown tired and started heading back off into the trees. Simon opened the door slightly and called Jack back to him. The dog happily trotted towards the house and in through the door. Simon picked him up and checked him all over but found not a single cut or scratch on him. He must have been playing with the predator for well over an hour, but he had sustained not a single injury. Later that day, Jack was once again begging to go outside. Peeking from the door, Simon noticed the jaguar lying casually at the end of the garden, as if it were waiting for a playdate with the dog. Again, Jack slipped through the door, and the two animals played and rolled around and had a lot of fun. It was the most unlikely friendship, but a beautiful one too. And for the next few years, the jaguar would keep coming back to see Jack. They had formed a strong connection, and the two became the best of friends. They played, rolled around, and even just sat in the sun together, with Jack leaning against the giant jaguar. Unfortunately, though, things couldn't stay the same forever. Jack's owner, Simon, had to move several hours away for work, and Jack would have to go with him. This would separate Jack and the jaguar forever. Simon understood that his dog, despite being small, was a very emotionally driven animal. It would undoubtedly miss its unlikely friend, and he wouldn't understand why they had to leave. So, as the sun set over the reserve on the final day, Simon released Jack to go and play with the jaguar one last time. The pair ran, rolled around, and groomed each other until the sun had disappeared over the horizon. At which point, Simon called Jack back to him. Then they packed their final few things, and they left the wildlife reserve forever. It truly is a sad and downbeat ending to the story, but we think that it shows that even the most unlikely of animals can become friends and have a kinship and closeness. And while it seemed at first like they would never get along and as if things would inevitably end in disaster, a strong and enduring friendship blossomed. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if a jaguar befriended your dog? Have you ever heard of two animals having such an unlikely friendship? Looking from a distance, a bridge is crowded with people. It was nothing at first, but a bear also appeared here, hanging upside down outside the bridge, holding the edge of the bridge with both hands. What happened? Why was the bear trapped on the bridge? The incident happened in California, United States. Perhaps it was because of the good weather that day that the grizzly bear walked out of the wild and came to a nearby bridge. Usually, grizzly bears rarely leave their own territory. Unexpectedly, this trip almost changed its life trajectory. Just as it was crossing the bridge, the grizzly suddenly saw two cars approaching from the opposite side. The grizzly panicked and didn't know how to avoid the cars for a while. The cars were getting closer and closer, and time was running short. Perhaps out of desperation, the grizzly looked at the guardrail of the bridge and suddenly jumped over it. Unexpectedly, this jump almost cost him his life. The grizzly grabbed the edge of the bridge's guardrail but got stuck in the fence, just like the grizzly was stuck there waiting for someone to find him. When a passerby stumbled upon the grizzly bear outside the bridge, he immediately called for help. However, the person in charge who rushed to the scene said that there was no way to rescue the bear from where it was stuck and there were no tools available on the scene, so they had to come up with a plan. Until the next morning, the rescue team rushed to the accident scene again, fearing that the grizzly bear would not be able to hold on. Fortunately, it obediently maintained the posture of being stuck in the bridge and did not dare to move at all. 
It's unbelievable that this grizzly bear persisted for 24 hours and never thought of giving up, no matter how difficult it was. Many people participated in this bear rescue operation, and there were also many onlookers watching the rescue. The other side of the bridge was filled with a crowd of people. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, the rescue team began their operation. Some rescuers cast nets under the bridge and made all the necessary preparations. In order to save the bear, some people hoisted the grizzly bear from the groove of the bridge. When the grizzly fell, the rescue team cast a huge net to catch it and bring it to safety. However, humans cannot immediately interact with grizzly bears. They are wild animals, so they can be aggressive, especially in life-threatening situations like this. The grizzly seemed frightened and motionless, probably still in a daze. After confirming that the grizzly posed no threat, the rescuers sent it to a rescue center. Subsequently, the veterinarian found that the bear had no skin injuries but was frightened. It was deemed fit to be released back into the wild. Humans and bears have always had an inseparable bond. Some people will help distressed bears, which is understandable. But when some people choose to become close friends with bears, it surprises everyone. This incident happened in Russia. One has to say that the Russian people are adventurous, even with the pets they keep. This woman from Russia eats and lives with a big brown bear. They have a very close relationship and often go out and play together, and even sleep together. It's like one person and one bear are old friends. The woman's name is Veronika Dichka. She is an animal lover. In 2019, she rescued a huge brown bear in a closed wildlife park and named him Archie. For a while, she took her best friend Archie fishing and even let him try rowing a boat. Veronica always emphasizes that the big brown bear is very safe by her side, so there is no need to worry. The courageous Russian woman said that she didn't seek trouble when she took the huge brown bear to paddle a boat and fish. She claims that they are already great friends. Veronica once posted a video on social platforms showing her fishing with the big brown bear. Veronica spent the entire afternoon on a lake in Novosibirsk, Russia, looking for dinner for this big guy who may have appeared intimidating to outsiders. The big brown bear, Archie, looks very happy and is enjoying himself. I saw Veronica fishing leisurely in a small boat on the lake, holding a fishing rod in her hand, waiting for the fish to bite, accompanied by her brown bear, who resisted the urge to jump into the water to hunt for itself. In fact, it even imitated Veronica by holding the fishing rod together and learning the correct posture for fishing. Sometimes, Veronica hugs her big furry friend. They accompany each other like old friends. The big guy even rode the boat for Veronica when she got tired. The picture looks incredibly sweet. Their rescue two years ago has made them inseparable, and Veronica firmly believes that this potentially deadly animal will never betray her. To prove it, they often go fishing together and have a great time. Veronica said that she and Archie are very close friends and cherish each other's company. She is not worried about any problems in their relationship. She feels that Archie is a trustworthy member of her family. They eat and live together, and Archie sleeps in her arms when he is scared and hides behind Veronica when he is shy. Veronica has also posted some photos showing how close she and her little friend Archie are. She has repeatedly stated that Archie will not attack or harm humans, which creates a magical feeling. Since Archie was kept in captivity before being rescued and raised artificially since he was a cub, he doesn't have the ability to survive on his own. Therefore, they believe he cannot be released into the wild, so Veronica had to take him with her. Archie also considers her as someone close to him. Archie spends every day with the family and has fallen in love with playing in the water. He really enjoys going to new places, so every photo shoot brings joy to Archie, and he gets very excited. Regarding this, netizens have two types of comments. The first group sees it as no big deal and believes that bears are much friendlier than humans. Bears have never invented anything specifically harmful to humans, and humans may be dominant in this regard. The second group believes that it is very dangerous. They think it's only a matter of time before the bear reverts back to its animal instincts and attacks Veronica. Many tragic endings serve as examples, showing that even if humans raise wild animals from cubs to their current size, the danger cannot be eliminated.
Looking at large carnivores kept as pets, one can find that 99% of the people who keep them eventually die, which may be related to the animals themselves. Similar instances have occurred many times. For the vast majority of wild animals, our living rooms are very noisy environments, and they, being creatures that prefer quietness, will feel anxious for extended periods in such an environment. Animals can become moody and turn brutal within seconds, which can be fatal. Moreover, wild animals cannot adapt to life in human cities. Keeping them as pets greatly damages their health, not to mention the legal issues involved. Wild animals are not suitable for living in our homes, as it is not only detrimental to their health but also greatly disrupts our daily lives. Some of their habits can also affect our lives to some extent. Therefore, wild animals should be observed from a distance and not played with, it is for their own good as well as for the good of human beings. If you genuinely believe a wild animal is in trouble, call your local wildlife center for advice, but don't bring them home. It probably won't benefit them or your family. Plus, what they need may not be a bottle full of organic skim milk or a more comfortable nest, but rather the vastness of nature.